Nobody panic. It happened. The best bot for streaming is now available on YouTube. Yes, streamer.bot has received a massive update, meaning you can now use it on YouTube. But is it as good as it is on Twitch? Okay, I have a confession to make. It's actually been about two months since this update. I just haven't had the chance to make a video yet. So let's pretend it released today and we'll go through the features and how to set it up. And in return, I will leave two free alerts for you to download in the description below that you can use for your YouTube streams. Deal? Deal. My name is Barry Epps and this is Content Delta. For those who don't know, Streamer.bot is an incredibly advanced bot that allows you to add a ton of interactivity to your stream through their integrations with a massive amount of apps, including OBS. In fact, if there's anything that is not integrated in Streamer.bot, you can do it yourself because there's a C Sharp compiler built into the program. However, until this update, you could only use it on Twitch, which has changed because now you can use it on YouTube as well, which is huge. I've made a few videos already using streamer.bot, but they were focused on Twitch. They are right here if you do want to check them out. However, this one's going to be fully dedicated to you who streams on YouTube live. I've been using the bot myself for a few months now, and it's absolutely incredible. It links into my OBS, into my voice mod. I use it for channel point redemptions and even multi-actions that my streamer deck can't do. Honestly, implementing this will give you everything you need for your YouTube streams, because I'm going to show you how to make a membership alert and a super chat alert that will always go off. This is because one of the main advantages from using streamer.bot is that it runs from your PC, allowing it to interact with your OBS natively instead of using some web-based bot. And if you have any questions about streamer.bot or anything about streaming, then pop into the stream. I stream every Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday over on twitch.tv forward slash mathmaneu, where I venture to answer all your questions live on stream. Or join the Discord down below. There are a lot of different specialists in there and a huge community that is able to help you with anything that you have problems with. Before we start, let's make sure we have everything that we are going to need for this one. First off, go to streamer.bot and get the application. You can't miss it, it's the giant purple button on the front page. Once you've grabbed that, it is time to grab the super chat and membership alerts from the Content Delta Discord. They are free, so all you need to do is grab them from the Discord. I've left a link to that and streamer.bot down in the description below. Uh, hey everyone, Future Mathman here. Other Mathman was about to say there's only one more thing you need, but since recording this video, I found a much easier way for you guys to install the Super Chat and Membership Alerts. For this, we do need one extra thing, and that is the Source Copy plugin. I've left the link and installation instructions in the description down below, so go check that out and continue watching the video. I'll leave you with regular Mathman, and I'll see you in a bit. There's one last thing we are going to have to grab, but for this, it is important to know your OBS version. If you have OBS 28.0, which is currently, as I record this, in beta, you do not need to follow this step. If you, however, are using an OBS version under 28, such as 27 or 26, then you will want to grab the WebSocket plugin from the OBS website. To be honest, if you have followed any YouTube tutorial on OBS and plugins, then you will already have this, but I've left a link to it in the description down below. It's super easy to install. Just make sure you remember the password if you do set one, because you're gonna need that later. These alerts are going to look fire and I've left a timestamp down below so you can jump straight to the installation and setting up of the alerts. However, if you have not set up streamer.bot yet or want to know exactly what it can do on YouTube, then please just follow along. We will get to the installation later on. No worries. Once you've extracted streamer.bot, you can just jump straight into the folder and boot it up. Head into the stream apps tab and right click on the top box. Here you can add the OBS WebSocket you've just set up. Just fill in the password you set up for your OBS WebSocket here if you have set one up, as I told you to remember earlier, and toggle both the auto connect and the reconnect buttons. Now it's time to head into the platforms tab. And since we're setting this up for YouTube, head over to the YouTube tab and agree to the terms and conditions. I mean, I would tell you to read them all and make sure that you understand them, but let's be honest. Are you going to read them? That's what I thought. Then head into your account tab and connect your Google account. Make sure that this is the one you're going to use to stream on YouTube because else this is not going to work. 
If you have done this successfully, Streamer.bot will ask you for permissions and then link you to a confirmation page. Just close that page and head back to Streamer.bot and make sure to tick the auto connect box. There's a ton of things that Streamer.bot keeps an eye on for your YouTube streams through OBS, such as event management, commands, effects, and so much more. It really surprised me how complete the YouTube suite is in Streamer.bot right at launch. It can track when you start and end your broadcast, when there's an event such as a super chat, a membership, when you ban someone, even for every single line of chat. You can see all these events in the events tab, but right now that doesn't do anything because we haven't told Streamer.bot what to do when an event actually happens. We are going to set up these events in just a second in the actions tab, but let's first look at your major quality of life improvement here, the stream info tab. I should really not be this excited about a quality of life improvement, but the YouTube interface is so ridiculous that having your stream info in streamer.bot is so good. See, right now everything is grayed out, but once you start your broadcast, this will fill up and then you can change the title of your stream, the description, and even the privacy of your stream on the fly. Look, very simple. If anybody from YouTube Live sees this video, I cannot give you a better guess Get your act together message. Your streaming manager is extremely advanced and I can edit any detail that I want in the way that I want it. But what about the user experience? I know that you're trying to catch up with all the functionalities of Twitch, but this could be solved by an intern in a week. Anyway, rant over. If you edit any of these fields in your streamer.bot, then make sure to click the save button or they won't be pushed to your YouTube stream. And it's Mathman from the future time again. Seeing that we now have the source copy plugin, this step is going to be so much easier. Once you've downloaded the content delta tools from the Discord, you just drag the folder straight into your streamer.bot file. Once you've done that, open up your OBS, go to the tools bar, to the source copy and load a scene. Here you just open the OBS scene that is included in the pack and it automatically adds everything to your OBS. Now you can resize the alert, relocate it or even change the text any way that you want. By using the source copy plugin, I've just cut two minutes out of this video, which is good for your time and mine. So we are going to switch back to regular time Mathman, who will tell you how to set it up in streamer.bot. This is where you can set up your actions. I go into far more detail on what this means in the streamer bot video link below, but in short, an action is a collection of sub actions that happen when an event is triggered. However, I've gone and made it super easy for you because I have included a string which you can simply import and it sets everything up exactly as it should be in your streamer.bot. There are a load of scripts on the streamer.bot discord, which they distribute for free. So if you're not an expert coder or a coder at all, like me, then you can just grab it from there and still introduce all this interactivity to your channel. The last thing we have to do is head back into the YouTube events tab and link your actions to the right event. So for your super chat alert, click the no action button and just link it to the action with the same name, super chat, and then do the same for your membership alert with the membership action. There's an absolute free ton more that they've added to this update, such as support for stream elements, merch, Kofi, Patreon, Tippy stream, Polsoid, and more. So definitely go check out all the amazing stuff that you can do with streamer.bot over on their website in the wiki they have all the information and if you want to know how you can make an amazing first redeem for your viewers to use then check out the video right here which i've made for you it is on twitch but you can adapt it to youtube as well not a problem if you learned anything or you found this helpful then please make sure to like the video click that subscribe button and if you want to be kept up to date with everything that we do make sure to ring that notification bell as well and while you're down there please leave a comment with your burning questions about streaming because i'm planning a video where i answer your questions and as always stream better stream smart